Introducing the Mailing Label Seminar, brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. This seminar is all about working with mailing labels. We will create a separate mailing label table, a form, and of course your mailing label reports. I will show you how to leave blank spaces at the top of your page if you're missing mailing labels. That always happens where you print a couple labels and you've got a whole sheet left with all but two labels on it. I'll show you how to get around that problem. I'll show you how to delete all the labels in your table with one click. And of course, how to add customers to your labels by just putting a button on the customer form that says add to mailing labels. That's good for doing individual mailings. You'll see how to copy a label X number of times. That's good if you're sending one customer three or four packages, for example. Or if you want to print a full sheet of the same label, you can just click on a button and make X copies. Then I'll show you how to make a field in your customer table We'll call it active so that when you want to send your newsletters out, you can simply go through and check all the active customers, click one button, and it adds them all to your mailing label table. That's good for doing your weekly or your monthly mailings. So here's a simple walkthrough of the database created in class. I provide you with a basic customer table and a customer form. Those are built in my customer database, which is a free template you can get from my website. All of the work from this database, though, is done in the mailing label form. Now, the mailing label form is based on the mailing label table, which simply is one, two, three, four lines of text that go onto each mailing label. You can type in labels yourself if you want to. Or if you want, you can go to the customer form, pick whichever customer you want to add to the mailing label list, and hit Add to Mailing Labels. And there we go. I've inserted that customer into the mailing labels. If you're sending multiple items to this customer, just click on them, change this number here to a three, for example, and that will make three extra copies. That's handy if you want to make a full sheet of return labels, for example. Want to see what your labels are going to look like? Hit the print report button. And there's your mailing labels. You can now hit the print button and send them right to the printer. Now you know what happens. Sometimes you print some labels off, and then the next time, you've got a sheet of labels with five missing ones on top. No problem. Let's insert five blank records at the top, and then hit print report again. And there you can see I've got five blanks up top. Done with this sheet, hit delete labels, and it clears them off for you. Sending a monthly newsletter. Just add an is active field to your customer form. Go through your customers, mark which ones you want to receive it. Then, go back to the mailing label form and go get newsletter labels. And that brings in just the customers that are marked active that have all of their address information. So they're not missing any name, address, city, state, zip, and that kind of stuff. So you can mail to them. So that's a quick run through of everything covered in the mailing label seminar. The seminar includes the database, fully editable in Microsoft Access. You can customize it as you please. And it also includes about 53 minutes worth of videos that teach you exactly how everything was built. There is also a template version available if you want just the database and don't need the video instruction. And of course, you can find both versions on my website at accesslearningzone.com. Check for links in the description below the video. And if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me.